Maybe I can try with a British accent. Oh, get me some slag room. No, please don't unsubscribe. Hi, welcome to Yovi's home. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today, we are making part two of a fun video that I made about Dutch words. Like Dutch words that sound very funny in English. Now, that video, if you haven't seen it, please watch it. I, have, I will link it here and I will also put it in the description box. Watch it. It's one of the favorite videos that I've ever made. Um, but in the comments section of that video, things got, things got funny, okay? So what I'm doing today is I've gone through all your comments. I tried to respond as much as I can to comments. Um, but you guys suggested a whole bunch of other funny words. So today we're going to go through, let's see here, nine words. Nine words that you guys suggested as funny words for you. So if that sounds good to you, if you want to have a little giggle, because maybe you're having a tough day, maybe you're on your coffee break from work and you're just like, enough, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Okay, you guys, so normally when I do these kind of lists, I just do them in whatever order, but today I'm not. Today I'm going to do it in order of like most tame to like a little bit naughty, okay? So the last ones are going to be what I think are the funniest or the most like naughty ones. And then at the beginning is just like ones that make me smile. Another thing is some of these words, they're just funny when they're written. Um, and so when you pronounce it the correct way in Dutch, it's not as funny as when you just see it written in English. Let's do this, you guys. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to keep this video shorter than usual. Okay, shorter than my 20 minute videos, but no promises because, you know, it's Yovi's home and you know me. I like to chat to you guys. You're, you're, my, you're my internet friends and, and I like that. See, here we go. No, get to the video, girl. Okay. Number one, <laughs> the way that you refer to a citizen of the Netherlands, like a co the country, is a burger, which is spelled burger. <laughs> so it's very funny that when I look at my Dutch ID, uh, it says that I'm an American burger <laughs> on it, Americansa burger. Um, but I find that very, very funny. Um, and then also the mayor, like the Dutch word for mayor, it's a Burgermeister, or like Burgermeister, okay? Burgermeister, Burgermeister. I'm not trying to pronounce it funny. I'm really trying to pronounce it the way I, th I think is correct. So I think it's Burgermeister, but it's like the master of burgers. <laughs> that's, that's kind of what it sounds like to me, and I just find that really funny. So, uh, yeah. Hello, Mayor Burgermeister. <laughs> okay, number two. Uh, the next word that you guys suggested to me that I just also find very funny um, is <laughs> the Dutch word for access, like access to the door, yeah? Um, it's togang. It's like a little, <laughs> not pronounced that way. It's pronounced tohang, tohang, toh. I'm trying with the, yeah, and then maybe tohang. Need tohang allowed, no? No, please don't thumbs down my act. Thumbs up because I'm trying. Okay, I'm really trying. But it reminds me, it makes me think of like a little gang of toes. <laughs> like, like when you see, I don't know, I just like imagine like all these little toes that have like, I don't know, bi like um, motorcycle like jackets on and they're like, yeah, what's up? You know, like I'm a toe gang. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but the visual is funny. But again, pronunciation not the same, but the visual is still equally, you know, fun for me um, and maybe for other non-native Dutch speakers when they see it. So it's funny. Okay, number three. Number three, actually, I have to say thank you to a mom at my child's school who pointed this out to me. So at my um, son's English speaking school, they'll have everything kind of translated also into Dutch. So they had this like board teaching the kids about insects and stuff. So <laughs> she, this mom was looking at it and she said to me, oh my gosh, look at this. She just started giggling away. Um, and yeah, so the Dutch word for a wood louse, or so like it's a type of, a, of an insect, uh, yeah. It's called a pissabed. Like you pissed in your bed because you saw this. <laughs> 
So yeah, maybe it's pizza bed, but that's more Italian. You're not gonna be like, hey, a pizza bed. <laughs> no, you're gonna be, I think in Dutch, you would just say piss bed, right? Like, is that how you pronounce it? Like piss bed, maybe? <laughs> I don't know if that E is silent or, or accented, but there you go. Okay, number four. Number four is the Dutch word for notes. So if you're taking notes on something, whatever in school, you are taking no titties. <laughs> so uh, yeah, like your boss might ask you to take some no titties uh, at work or, you know, yeah, like you're just at school taking no, no titties. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> that's a pretty fun one. Um, but I think it's pronounced uh, I think that one's pronounced notitis, but still, even notitis is, <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> it's funny for me. Um, okay, so here is one for you Brits out there, okay, because I know that this is something that's mentioned a lot of times in, you know, my, my friends from the United Kingdom, they always make fun of this or they always point this out. It's not as funny for me because it's not a, like it's not American slang, but it is British slang. So if you're from the UK, this one's for you. The way that you refer to whipping cream in the Netherlands is, or in Dutch, not just in the Netherlands, in Dutch, it's um, slag room, Sla slag room. Maybe I can try with a British accent. Oh, get me some slag room. No, please don't unsubscribe. Just, just don't, please. But slag room, but pronounced in properly pronounced, it is slagroom, I think. Um, but yeah, when you see it, it's really like the room for slags. Slag, did I, did I even use that right? I mean, I think, I think it's a, sl a slut. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. But yeah, I think that's what it is. So anyway, in Dutch, whipping cream, slag room gives people a giggle. Yeah. yeah. Number six. So now is where we start getting a little bit to the, you know, NSFW if you're in America, not safe for work. Now I'm going to start, you know, dropping some, some, some swear bombs. So please, if you have little kids listening, put on your headphones and enjoy this wonderful YouTube content all for yourself. Okay. So here we go. In Dutch, the word for a breeder, like an animal breeder, <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, Breeders are referred to as fuckers. So yeah, so you might be, um, yeah, like a like a horse, a horse fucker. So a pardon fucker, or you might be, you know, a hund fucker. <laughs> Let's try one with it where it's a similar in English. Cat. Okay, so you might be a cat fucker. <laughs> God, that's terrible. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. This is all in jokes. Um, so yeah, so we have, yeah, fuckers. Now, a few of you guys have mentioned this story to me in the comments and the person always changes, but there is a legend going around that either JFK or some other famous politician was in the Netherlands, um, English speaking politician was in the Netherlands and he was meeting with the Dutch, uh, I don't know, prime minister who was a horse breeder at the time. And then, uh, and then he said, so the Dutch, uh, minister, uh, prime minister said, oh, yeah, oh, you know, I, I fuck horses. And then JFK says, pardon? And then the prime minister says, yeah, pardon, because pardon is horses in Dutch, in case you, you didn't pick up on that. So it's kind of a funny thing where, you know, JFK is like, what? excuse me? And then he's like, yeah, 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 I fuck horses. <laughs> Whether that story is true or not, I don't care. It makes me laugh. And that's what we're here for today. Okay? Okay. Now, uh, the one that I actually really, really like, the, the one that also one of you told me, um, is... <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't even do it. Um, okay, so <laughs> in the Netherlands, if you uh, breed um, a specific... A type of dog which is called a cocker spaniel you are called a cocker fucker <laughs> so you can be a pardon fucker or a cocker fucker but <laughs> i think it's pretty funny um just how it sounds so yeah 
<clears throat> thank you for that. All of you guys who have contributed these words, you have really like brightened my day, so I hope that by making this video with the collection of them, I am brightening yours. Moving on. So keeping with the Fokker theme, uh, the next one that I would like to tell you is when you have a drawer. <laughs> when you want to put something in a drawer, that's called a vacuum. So <clears throat> internationals, while that's like a totally, you know, a Dutch word, it doesn't seem anything strange. But if somebody, if you're telling them, oh yeah, put that paper in my fakia. If you don't know the word for drawer, that might sound pretty funny uh, as an international because uh, it really sounds like she's saying fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you tell the difference between what I was saying? Because I was just saying drawer. I wasn't saying anything bad. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we have two left. Okay, are you still here? Are you still with me? Let's do this. So when you really really want to be formal in the Dutch language uh, it's kind of like French where you have a informal way of saying you and then a formal way of saying you like the difference between yai and u um, or the tu and vu if you're in French you know you know this okay in English we don't have it you don't, we don't have this like formal way of saying you but in Dutch you do and it's just a u that's an U, it's a U, <laughs> it's a letter U. So you would put the, you know, U. And then um, when you want to say that you can um, do something, it's U kunt. But in Dutch and in the text here, you can see what it says and why that would be funny for an international. Because even though you say U kunt ha naar, I don't know, train you can hang our train yeah or I don't know did I say that wrong don't please don't get mad at me Dutch speaking audience okay enough <clears throat> but you can see why this very formal way of saying you can uh, in Dutch would be funny for foreigners because of how it's spelled so yeah there you go all right you guys so number nine and this is the last word on my list of funny words uh it is for a hair product that you will see very very commonly here in the netherlands um and it's basically for an anti-tangles uh shampoo or conditioner or hair product or whatever so it's just anti-tangles but the way that you say that in dutch is anti-clit so when you're a woman who is generally shopping for you know hair supplies because i mean i'm sure men do too but but a lot of, you know, I think that's a predominantly like female thing. You're just seeing like anti-clit, 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 anti-clit everywhere. And you're like, what's wrong with my clit? Oh, not that one. No, sorry, sorry. It's the one in my hair. Do I have clitty hair? I don't know. Do I like my, do I, do I, do I want, that, that's for you. That, you know, that's a personal decision. Do you want your, your hair anti-clitted or do you want it, do you want it with clit? Pro-clit. Are you pro-clit or anti-clit? I don't know, but the shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff, anti-tangle, anti-clit, it's quite funny when you do see it. Um, so yeah, so you guys, that is my list. That is my nine funny words that have been submitted by you. Uh, if you have more words that make you laugh, that you think are very funny, please leave them in this description, leave them in the comments, okay? Leave me a comment, uh, let me know what you think of these words, let me know if there are other words in Dutch that make you laugh. Um, again, like this is not making fun of the Dutch language, no matter where I lived, if I was in Spain, I would make one that, you know, is funny Spanish words that, you know, Spanish words that sound funny in English. Or if I was in Serbia, I would do the same. No matter where I am, I would do a translation of funny words. So this is nothing with the Dutch language, okay? So don't get mad at me please um and yeah i don't know if you like this video please give it a thumbs up as i asked you earlier if you like it a lot then share it with your friends if you find it funny um and please do subscribe i'm really grateful for each and every one of you this channel is growing and it's amazing thank you guys so much for watching uh i really appreciate any time that you spent with me today it's been a minute since we filmed in this room but i'm really glad to be back and Thank you guys just so much for everything. I really appreciate you and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.